Hey everyone, it's Ariel. Obviously, we're all very excited to talk about UFC 279 and a very crazy and memorable weekend in mixed martial arts. But before we started today's show, I wanted to dedicate it to the life and memory of Elias Theodoru. You may have heard late last night, uh, news started trickling in and we have been able to confirm it as well that shockingly and unfortunately, he passed away at the very young age of 34. He was battling stage four liver cancer and didn't make this public. No one, obviously outside of his um, his friends and family, loved ones, knew that he was sick, um, had recently fought in December and uh, was 3-0 and since leaving the UFC a few years ago. And so we wanted to remember him at the top of today's show. Of course, we remember him entering the UFC undefeated, winning the uh, 2014 Ultimate Fighter Nations series, a proud Canadian, a proud representative of Canadian MMA, but really just an absolute great representative of mixed martial arts as well, because he was always happy. He was always smiling. He was always just himself. And even if you look at his last few tweets, always um, talking about what should be happening in MMA, advocating for things that should be happening for MMA fighters, uh, the first fighter to get a therapeutic use exemption in Canada to use cannabis in the uh, province of British Columbia, then the first fighter to get a TUE to use cannabis in America as well. He got that in the state of Colorado. It was a shock when he was uh, let go from the UFC a few years ago uh, with an eight and three record, had a great run in the UFC and vowed that he would go out there on the regional scene and uh, finish fights and win fights. And he did that, uh, won three straight fights. Two of them came via finish. In fact, the last time I had him on the program was back in 2019, shortly after his release. And uh, he left the Toronto Raptors championship parade early to come on the show. I had no idea that he did that. I mean, it was a once in a lifetime event. And I told him afterwards, hey man, you could have told me, we, we could have done this another time. He said, absolutely not, no problem. Always was a great guy, a great soul. If you knew him, you felt like you were his best friend, always a smile on his face, always in great spirits, always in a good mood and really represented the best that this sport had to offer. And so uh, we do today's show with a very heavy heart. We dedicate today's show to his memory and we send our thoughts, our love and our prayers to his family. Elias Theodoro, just 34 years young. May he rest in peace.